a very good morning students welcome back once again today we will continue with unit 9 chapter 17 the tiger and the mosquito so all of you open your book to page number 9191 so today we will read the story the tiger and the mosquito all of you Listen the story nicely and carefully. So what can you see in the picture? Yes, there is a big tiger sleeping and dozing in the jungle. And what came to the tiger? The little mosquito came to disturb the tiger. So, let's read. A tiger was dozing under a tree. A mosquito came buzzing by. The tiger said, Hey, mosquito, go away. The mosquito said, Why should I go away? I am not afraid of you. The tiger was angry. He hit out with his paw. The mosquito flew off. The paw struck his own cheeks. The blow scrapped his cheek. It began to bleed. The mosquito buzzed away. The tiger struck with his other paw. The mosquito flew off. This time, too, he hit himself. The tiger was helpless. The mosquito continued to buzz. The tiger got up and quietly walked away. The mosquito called out after him. Don't be so proud, my friend. Everyone is great in his own way. By Mrinalini Srivastav. Okay, so what was the story about? The story was about a big tiger and the little mosquito. So let's listen the story once again and recite with me. Slowly and carefully. So now students, let's know the summary of this story. A tiger was dozing under a tree. So can you see a tiger? A tiger was sleeping and dozing under a tree. And what happened? A mosquito came buzzing by. Buzz. What is coming? The mosquito. And mosquito, what does the mosquito do? The mosquito starts disturbing the tiger by buzzing. Buzz. The tiger said, Hey mosquito, go away. The mosquito said, Why should I go away? I am not afraid of you. See the picture? The mosquito was a little mosquito and the tiger was a big tiger. But the mosquito was not afraid of the tiger. And so the mosquito was disturbing the tiger by buzzing. Zzzz. Now, what happens? The tiger was very angry. See, the tiger got very angry. He ate out with his paw. See, this is the hands of the tiger is called the paw. And the tiger is hitting whom? The mosquito. 
But what happened? The mosquito flew away. The paw stuck his own cheeks. The mosquito flew away and the tiger stuck his own cheeks. What comes out? Yes, the blood from the tiger's cheeks come out. See, the blood is coming out. It began to bleed. The blow scrapped his cheeks. See the pain? The mosquito buzzed away and the mosquito was very smart. The moment tiger hit the mosquito, the mosquito buzzed away, flew away. Then what happened? The tiger struck with other paw, that is the other hand. And then what happened? The mosquito flew off once again. And here also, this time too, he hit himself. The tiger was helpless. The mosquito continued to buzz. Bzzz. And the tiger got up and quietly walked away. When the tiger saw that the mosquito is not going, so the tiger himself went away. The mosquito called out after him and said, Don't be so proud, my friend. Everyone is great in his own way. So the little mosquito taught the big tiger a lesson. And what was the lesson? The lesson one the lesson was don't be so proud. We should never be proud. And everyone is great in his own way. That is, God has made the little creature and the big creature likewise everyone has their own way. Everyone is important in on this earth. Okay. So, this is the lesson that everyone is great in his own way. So, students have a blessed and fruitful day and read the poem, the story once again about the big tiger and the small mosquito and bye for today bye